Things aren't separate. The world isn't separate. Things are integrated and so should education be. Because there are future generations, more of us all the time, that are going to want to coexist with Mother Nature on the face of the earth. The, to me, this project here in the, in the biodiversity plot that you've put in is an incredible first step. One of the most important discoveries of this century was the recognition by biologists that diversity at the genetic level and at the ecosystem level is critical for the long-term survivability, adaptability, and resilience of populations around the world. Despite their importance, ecosystems are being degraded. Genetic diversity is being reduced at an alarming rate by the impact of our growing human population and the increasing rate of consumption of basic resources. In 1970, there were three billion people living on this planet. Now we're heading to six. In 20 years, that number will be close to eight billion. The protection of the Earth's biodiversity means the future for all of us. To launch a biodiversity initiative within Canada, we are going to need to turn to the volunteers and the educational sector and the community. We depend on them, we need them, in order to try to address this question of how is biodiversity changing. The global decline of biodiversity is now recognized as a serious environmental issue. We need better monitoring so we can improve our early warning system. ACER, the Association for Canadian Educational Resources, has designed a community-based monitoring approach that engages scientists, school children, and community volunteers. The monitoring program of permanent one hectare plots, an idea originally conceived by the Smithsonian Institute and further developed by Environment Canada, gives us the opportunity to observe conditions and living organisms in the forest ecosystem over long periods of time. Sampling is strictly controlled. Observations have to comply with rigorous guidelines. We can measure change and see patterns. The benefits to students, the community, and science are enormous. What we're doing here with this biosphere type approach is it's an education process for the people. It's a proactive action that's going to take us into the future. We're taking inventory here right now, knowing that this is what the environment is like right now, here today. And then we can start tracking it into the third millennium. Well, I think that this plot has a lot of potential, Alice, to get a lot of science into outdoor education, to get kids applying the theory and knowledge that they learn in schools, and to, to get them to actually put it into a real-life situation. Uh, you don't even find Isenia fatida any, anymore in nature since we got rid of horse farming. There's not enough organic matter in the soil. When the, when the tractors became dominant, they fell out of the picture because... Okay. They li they have to their optimum developmental temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Most of these other guys are in the teens, mm -hmm. and um, so that's why they'll live in a, in a compost. Now this is a different one. This is a this is a lumbricus. Another one. Mary, you got a lumbricus. You got the first guaranteed lumbricus out of this group. I find very stimulating uh, for the awareness of the students. It's just suddenly um, they will become aware of the nature, the very reason for their existence. And students come out here and put hands on. They can start with low tech with simple coat hangers and string and then go high tech with fancy equipment. They can use their pencil and paper. Wow. <laughs> well, I was watching uh, you guys measuring um, different characteristics of the trees, the height, the diameter, and the angle for their locations. Uh, and I thought here, you know, I was thinking about how to introduce trick, um, how to introduce, um, to calculate the, diam the diameter of a circle. Uh, using its uh, um, perimeter or and then here I am looking at what you're doing and said this is the best opportunity for students to realize why they're learning all these numbers trig what is trig I mean and here's the most beautiful way of knowing why they're using trig not only are kids going to be um, 
making a connection with the environment through their own personal measurement, but they will also be connected through time because these studies are going to go on for many years. Well, the, we were here with our English teacher and uh, uh, social science teachers, and then here we are talking about integrated units. And um, wonder if uh, my science students uh, could start doing that, and when it comes to presenting it, first of all, they could use all these high-tech computers and softwares. And then they could uh, write articles, you know, open-ended uh, essays, which helps with their English. And then they have to go and study the geography of the world and the country. And uh, again, the, everything becomes just one unit of a study. Real science to students and cross-curriculum to geography and math, language development, it has something for all. A series of one hectare plots has been established along the Niagara Escarpment. Other plots in the Humber and Grand River watersheds and eastern Ontario are being designated. At each site, one plot is allocated for scientific research, the other for school and community monitoring. Individuals can be part of the action too, monitoring their own plot or helping a center or school with their plot. Using the internet, the data generated from these studies will be shared with other groups employing the same measurements all over the world. We're doing it here in the Niagara Escarpment. We're doing it in other locations using the same protocols, the same standard techniques that are used worldwide in order to monitor biodiversity, to document how it is changing, and more importantly, to understand what the stresses on biodiversity are to help explain why it's changing. There are a collection of more than 50 sites of this type uh, now in place in Canada, uh, occupied uh, and owned and operated uh, by various school groups, um, educators, scientists and community uh, groups. Generating excitement in terms of science, real science, that they can put their hands on, do real measurements, put it in a real database to a, in the internet around the world to compare not only with other students on the Niagara Escarpment or in other schools within North York, but also nationally and globally. And we've been wired and networked, and now what? We've got all this software sitting there. Why they're doing that? I mean, I mean, number one reason is that they want to speed up something. And what else but the awareness and the knowledge of the nature again? Putting all the data in, uh, classifying everything, and plotting it and seeing really how things are changing. When we look at trying to now monitor biodiversity change, we're doing it in people's backyards. It's going to require volunteers coming together, communities coming together, um, educators working with the community, and scientists moving their expertise and their science-based protocols into the community so that we can do it together. It's neighbors helping neighbors uh, in order to understand how the biodiversity is changing in their own backyard. We invite you today to work with ACER to establish or work on a study plot. Students, teachers, seniors groups and youth groups who monitor a hectare of land will begin to understand Canada's rich gifts of nature. And your efforts will join the efforts of people all over the world, collecting and sharing data that will help measure and respond to change on planet Earth. ACER can help you start monitoring on either a plot of your own or one near you. From selecting a plot, through training and assisting you to find resources for your program, we'll help you every step of the way. We also have a bio bag kit with the equipment you need. Just call 905-275-7685 or fax 905-275-9420 to find out how you or your group can make arrangements to establish or help monitor a plot. Because when it really comes down to it, this is where it starts. We need to understand how it's changing here, we need to understand how it's changing nationally, and we need to understand how it's changing globally. Call 905-275-7685 today. Your participation means the world to all of us.